What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Conversations with Carrie. I know. I know. <laughs> it's been too long. Like for real this time, I feel like I start every video with that, but as my business partner at work would say, life has been lifing. So, but your girl is here and happy Thanksgiving. Um, I'm sure for some of y'all, you've been out with family and stuff, but what I'm about to do after I get done with y'all, put on some sweats, gonna rub my feet together and eat me some sweet potato pie. But anyway, um, I was not feeling this great this morning. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to come over here. It's like, you know what, Lord put it on my heart. I wrote a new blog on it. So if you're, you know, you love to write or read, please check out CarrieLee.com. Um, I'll put the link um, down below in the description box so you can head on over there and check things out. But I woke up this morning, uh, well actually all week, I was kind of feeling a little by humbuggish because for just keeping it all the way real, I was like, oh, here I am, the single friend, again, who is showing up at everybody else's holiday because I don't have um, my boo to spend the holidays with. You know, it is what it is. I know how to get myself together, you know, read my word, encourage myself, like praise and worship. Like, I know how to do all that. And you probably do too. But as I was sitting before the Lord, I was like, <laughs> I was just kind of like, oh, I'm just, I'm just tired of this season. I'm tired of this time. And when I woke up today, I kind of felt like, okay, I'm supposed to write about this. But then immediately I was hit with, well, what are you going to say? Like, what are you even going to talk about? People are tired of hearing about you in your single season. People are tired of hearing that. Um, nobody wants to hear that, you know, you're struggling in your season, season, season or something like that. And that's when I was like, okay, I'm supposed to write this. Because otherwise, why would all the doubt and discouragement try to, like, take me over to not write it? And I was like, somebody needs to hear this. And also, it will give God glory. So here I am. How you doing? Um, so let me tell you. I opened my Bible, and I was just like, Lord, there's not a Bible story that talks about being single in the holidays. <laughs> I need some encouragement this morning, so what do you want me to read? I was like, literally, like, Lord, Holy Spirit, open my eyes to see what you want me to see. Let my ears hear what you want me to hear. And let my heart receive whatever it is you wanted to receive. And so I was kind of like, okay, well, let me read about Jesus. I turn to Luke, Luke chapter one and verses six and seven, boom, hit me. And I was like, okay, Lord, this is what I needed. And verses six and seven say they were both righteous in the sight of God, talking about Zechariah, the priest and Elizabeth. And they were both righteous in the sight of God, walking blamelessly in all the commandments and requirements of the Lord. But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren. And they were both advanced in years. Verse 6 tells me that Zachariah, Zacharias and Elizabeth were living righteously. Like they weren't out here wilding out. I think oftentimes we think that, oh yeah, sinner is, if somebody's a sinner, which we all were sent, born sinners, um, but you know, we're born again and saved through the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, but it's like, okay, well, you know, if you ain't living for the Lord, then it makes sense this stuff ain't happening for you. Whatever, which that's a story for another day. We ain't even going to go there. Um, but when I read this, I was like, so Lord, they're doing, they're living how you want them to live. And they still hadn't received the promise that, or that they're, they're the manifestation of their faith of having a child. Elizabeth was barren. And I thought about that and I'm like, so often I have tried to tie my weight or my desire to the fact that, oh, well, you know what? I was welling out back in those days. That's probably why I don't have a husband. Or that, you know, like all of a sudden I tried to rationalize it by bringing up, by tying it to my past. Which I know that's a, that's a trick of the enemy. I'm very, very clear on that. However, sometimes it'll be like this just little voice in the back of my head. And Lord has reminded me like, I've forgiven you. When you repented, I, I forgave you. Your sins are as far as uh, far from you as the east is from the west. So if, if Jesus is not remembering my sins, if I know that he bore my sins on that cross, why am I remembering them? And why do I think that I serve a God who would, you know, like, oh, well, I'm going to make you get in trouble for that because you did it back in the day. No, like, yes, we reap what we sow, but also we are covered by grace. Um, so that when I saw this, I was like, okay, so even people who are righteous and living as according to the Lord face challenges. And the word, the word says that in this world, you will face difficulties. And I'm like, yes, I have not seen the manifestation yet, but I know that I have a God who has given me this desire for a reason. It's just a matter of time. You know, as my pastor talked about recently, reaping the reward for uh, what you sow takes time. 
it takes time and it's all it, reaping is all tied to timing so I saw this and I was just like okay Lord I get it yes so if they can wait you know I know I can wait but then also the fact that that Elizabeth was barren was really a you know a social stigma during that time and uh hello who can relate to that me because singleness sometimes especially during the holidays can feel like a social stigma to a certain degree um you know sometimes it's just like I don't like feeling like the only you know or like oh let me do this by myself you know I know I have wonderful people loving me um but as I thought about this I'm like sometimes people especially in church when you're over 30 like oh my gosh you're still single they might you know I'm thinking oh they probably think something's wrong with me or they probably think I'm too picky like all these things may come to mind when that's really not the case it's just that the Lord is preparing something for me he's not punishing me he's preparing me for what he has for me so in the meantime my job is to seize the season and really do what the Lord would have me to do so I wanted to encourage you with the same thing like you know what yes I know that it can be difficult when you're going from house to house or you don't have house to house to go to for the holidays and you're thinking gosh I'm really tired of this season in my life but let me tell you God has a purpose like he gave Elizabeth and Zachariah John the Baptist the forerunner of Christ like not only did he answer their prayer but he went exceedingly and abundantly and gave them this amazing child like if he did it for them, he'll also do it for you. And it also says on here that they were advanced in years. So not only was Elizabeth older, which sometimes you feel like, oh my gosh, like age sometimes is such a phenomenon because we feel like, oh, my best years are gone. I don't know how many times I've heard people say different things like that. And I'm like, no, my best years are still ahead of me. Like your girl is 40 and thriving. Okay. So I truly believe that I, there's more to it but you know the enemy will have you thinking like oh well, you done missed your prime years like you might as well give up on that dream why do you even still want to do that anymore and I'm sure Elizabeth she had probably given up on having the child but I love that the word says that God answered the petition of Zechariah because Zechariah had been covering his wife in prayer how beautiful and you may be saying well Carrie I don't have a husband covering me you know what you may not have a husband covering you in prayer but you have you know, if you're belong to a church family, you have a pastor, you have a church family members, community covering you, you have friends, and you have me. I don't know you, but I'm lifting you up in prayer today to let you know that I pray the Lord would just give you peace that surpasses all understanding. I pray that he would give you contentment that just fills your heart so that you can shift your perspective and see, you know what? It's not that, oh, I'm single in the holidays. Woe is me. Instead is, oh my gosh, I'm single in the holidays. I get to enjoy this life. COVID has hit almost everybody in some type of way, whether it's your friend, your auntie, your cousin, somebody, a coworker, and you are alive and well. So that means that God has plans for you. He has plans for your life and you do not have to be discouraged. So you can shift, you can choose to shift your perspective.